All right, so I've got the guys from The Concealed Journey here today, and I wanted to have a quick conversation about the idea of caliber selection. I yeah. use my hands a lot. Please yeah, don't get like too it. defensive. Oh, um, but I know your reflexes are just built that way. So, <laughs> um, But what I wanted to talk to you about, and this is Damien, by the way, um, one of the trainers with The Concealed Journey, is handgun caliber selection. It's something we talk a lot about in the preparedness community. A lot yeah. of people, you know, they stick with things like nine millimeter because it's a NATO cartridge or 45 ACP because of its availability. How important is your caliber when it comes to your handgun? Well, it's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, my opinion on it uh, from some FBI data that I've looked at before, uh, as well as my experience working in a gun store for the past three and a half, four years, uh, availability is going to be super important, and that's something that we noticed here in this last couple of years of weirdness. Um, is like, what's even on the shelf, right? Um, 9 mm 45 let's just say, right? It's something that's common, it's something that's like available, you can get guns chambered in that. If you want to talk about like battlefield pickup stuff or whatever, if you're going to, you know, loot and find resources, uh, a part to replace stuff you already have, I would say, you know, go as common as you can, right? Like 9 mm super common, you can get more ammo than than 45 ACP, but there's those are both very popular calibers. Regardless of like what caliber you're gonna pick in there, I, I would say pick commonality, it's gonna be super important. So, you know, we both run Glocks, right? So yeah. we can interchange mags, sights, spare parts, whatever. We've got a couple of Glocks so we can break two down and make a new one or whatever if, if we have issues. So like that kind of commonality as far as resources for preparedness, I think are far more important. No, that makes sense. And when it comes to, um, you know, talking about these calibers, you know, the biggest debate is always 9 millimeter versus 45, sure. right? So at the end of the day, what, you know, we're at least kind of seeing data-wise now is that that debate just doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't, it's 9 or 45, yeah. right? Like yeah, it doesn't yeah, yeah. matter. The one doesn't beat the other because yeah. neither one of them performs to the degree that would actually make sure. a calculable difference. Right? Yeah, I don't think there's actually like a right answer between 9 or 45. Um, one costs more money and has less capacity. For sure, there's so. a lot of downsides. I, if you get down to the nitty gritty, sure. Um, you have more ammo capacity even with nine millimeter, right? Uh, you can store more of that, which, which is helpful. Also, it's half the weight, 115 grain versus a 230 grain projectile. Right. The, the debate is nine or 45 for a reason. Nobody's talking about 40 short and weak anymore. So <laughs> let's just let's just put that to bed. Yeah. Um, and and that's and that's even super petty. Uh, and I'm talking about nine or 45. Like one thing I will say is that you know um, at the end of the day, training's huge, obviously, right? Yeah. But uh, when it comes to firearm selection, just go with nine millimeter and, and stop arguing. No. Yeah, I think so. And like, <laughs> like there's more nine mil handguns produced than any other handgun, right? So I mean, just getting guns in the hands of people and being able to get out in there and train, uh, nine mil is more cost effective as well. The handguns are typically more cost effective. So if you want to talk about just just building up your capabilities to defend yourself, honestly, the nine mil seems to be. If it were the other way around, maybe I'd be rooting for like cost effectiveness, right? I mean, from an economical standpoint. If you're gonna save money on the firearm, you're gonna save money on the ammunition, or if it's more available in the firearm or in the am ammunition, then think about the other resources where you can put that investment towards, right? right. Um, given any other preparedness uh, goods that right. you may wanna consider. I, there's a ton. I'm not gonna start getting into because it's not my forte, but think about all the other areas that you can put that money towards. So it's, it's, it's economical as well, not just this old petty debate of, you know, which one's bigger? whatever right. you know it's that's just a peeing contest that that's honestly super outdated and it's just it's just boring at this point in time yeah no it makes sense and you know yeah. that's that's just why i wanted to touch base on it with somebody who shoots more than i do has more sure. experience with firearms than i do yeah. just because it is a big topic in the prepping community you know which calibers what do you store what should you have all your firearms chambered in um yeah. you know we talk about 556 we talk about 308 we talk about yeah. nine millimeter 45 40 comes up and stuff like that and i think you know just standardizing it and then making it you know a little bit of an easier thing sure. for someone to get in the yeah. door with is a way to go mm -hmm. i still feel like nine millimeter should be everybody's first cartridge if they're getting a handgun for self-defense you know? for self-defense for sure yeah for sure so you know i just wanted to have this conversation get some yeah. insight from you um you know like i said i'm here with the guys with the concealed journey we're yeah. trying to do some training and then i'm trying to steal any knowledge that they're willing to give me so thanks for the conversation yeah, damien absolutely. i appreciate yeah, it appreciate and i will try my us, best man. not to make you look bad you know what i mean <laughs> we'll see how that yeah. works out yeah yeah thanks for making <laughs> it's me it's look less bad that's okay? tall that's, yeah. that's a tall order man yeah <laughs> <laughs>